morning, welcome to another video, it's definitely been a while uh, but it's getting later in the autumn now and it's getting colder, brighter days so this job needs done now uh, on the roof of the shed I'll turn the video around here but uh, for sure you'll be able to see just that the repairs that we did maybe last year now they're not in great shape so just hold on that turn this around so you'll remember, you'll remember I put loads of new nails in along here and but uh, you can see the felt has perished on the roof and on this side in particular it's in really bad shape the wood's starting to rot, it's not great wood the whole thing's fairly cheap I mean you can see this here essentially stays damp I think maybe this uh, shed was designed to last, maybe only a couple of years. Definitely in need of repair. So this is what's going to happen in this video. We require plywood, good strong plywood. I have some fresh wood. We have felt nails, adhesive and felt. So you can see in here part of the problem Part of what we're going to fix this is only one inch by one inch wood down the center and uh, it's difficult to see here but it is bowed in the middle it's not strong enough to hold this when it's damp this you probably can see there's a bow so as i walk through this my head will hit this this when i'm working here at my little vise and hammering and I was going to say screwing, but that sounds wrong. Uh, my head's banging off this all the time, so that needs replaced. And this is the damp corner from the inside. Now, like this here was full of slugs and damp. It was disgusting. I threw in salt in there and the slugs all ran away. So first task then is to start and take the old roof off. And here's the first tip make sure your batteries are charged so while I'm using this one I'm gonna plug the other battery from the drill and make sure it's charged and that'll make sure we're working all day Okay, let's do some close-ups just on the wood here before we take it off. Very damp in around the corners and the edges. Yeah, it's in bad shape, rot it. The overlap doesn't overlap. So you can definitely see the bow on the roof on this side. Very clear. And then the wood up here. That's just disgusting. Okay, so the plan here is to take the new piece of wood here. It's going to come down further, so we'll need to just move this bracket down to the right height. Measure the new piece of wood the same length as this rubbish boat that I would. And move this down to both ends and screw that up, and then that should be stronger. I'm going to give this a good brush.
just going to now make sure the overhang at this side matches the overhang at the other side and the edge of the board gets up right up to the peak so that the board from the other side will match up up to the peak as well so I can do that now. So as it's a pretty thick chipboard I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill the holes here. Everything's fine, but of course, of course, the shed itself isn't straight. So the overhang here is a bit more than the overhang here, and it's at a wee bit of an angle. Take that all the way up to the top. This isn't going to be straight here, and I, I guess I could cut it. get some overhang at the down at the back end there whenever I had this straightened up anyway at all uh, the bottom corner there wasn't over the corner of the shed but um, what I will do I'll get I'll cut a piece of wood that fits along here screw it down and then when the felt's over the top of it it'll be good so looking at it from in below now Looks pretty good up at the top there. A wee bit of a gap along that, but I still have a piece of wood to put along the bottom of the roof. Just match that up to here, and then just about you can see the piece of wood that's over the, the top here. So that's kind of closing that gap out. But, you know, the great thing is, it's not sagging, I can walk almost not up the centre and still not hit my head so I think so far it's it's good uh, next thing will be what I didn't do before I'm going to seal the top of the roof just with some uh, wood outdoor wood paint uh, just to kind of preserve it even before putting the um, before putting the felt onto the roof
inside the, the bush sheet of felt, almost on. I measured the width of the felt, it's just one meter. So we want it something like a five centimeter overhang here at the bottom just to kneel down. So measured 95 centimeters up the roof and made a few marks along the roof to make sure it's level and make sure we have the same drop at each side. Um, I've only a few nails in here so far, I'm going to put uh, another two or three between each of these to make sure it stays down. And the same at either end whenever I was measuring the length, uh, measuring four or five centimetres, add, add on four or five centimetres to either end and uh, to make it look neat and even. And then this wee dog leg at the bottom, you nail it on, fold it over, nail it down flat so that it looks nice and neat. So a few more nails to go in, but that's how it's on one side, the other side will be the same and then We'll do up the middle. So the two sides are on, so that leaves the top. It's going to be put on a little bit differently. Going to apply some roofing felt adhesive. Uh, going to put it up along the top of the first pieces of felt, and then put the other piece of felt over the top of the roof. We don't want to be nailing, uh, putting nails through the top part because that's going to be a leak path just for rain to get through. They will be nailed on at the ends, uh, around the corner, but uh, the seal across this here is going to be adhesive rather than nails.
so here it is all finished hope you enjoyed that a good strong roof on this again lights are up i'm going to put the lights on at night time when i'm in here um i'm only just using some wee uh, fancy outdoor lights it's not just a, a normal light for this shed i'm just using something that i had in the gazebo which is handy because i don't want to spend any more money than i have to but i hope you enjoyed this video on how to put a felt roof uh, onto the shed and we'll see you next time hopefully not too long bye